This is another installment in my uh, mini-series on lab tests, often not ordered by physicians, that you should request. I think you need to get these. Last week, I talked about HSCRP, high specificity C-reactive protein. Here's another factor in assessing your risk for heart attack and stroke. I want to caution you from the start that while it's inexpensive, your insurance company may not want to pay for the test uh, unless you are, for example, about to undergo a procedure where getting your blood type might be necessary where you need a transfusion. Yeah, that's right, I said blood type. The test has been around a long time, you all know about it. But did you know this? People with type AB blood may have a higher risk of heart disease compared with those whose blood is type O, according to a study done recently. Researchers reviewed two studies that tracked nearly 90,000 people for more than 20 years and found that coronary heart disease, CAD, coronary artery disease, that the risk varied with the participants' blood types. People with type O blood had the lowest incidence of coronary heart disease, and compared with them, those with type AB blood were 23% more likely to have heart disease, while those with type B blood were 11% more likely, and people with type A were 5% more likely. That's interesting stuff. The association with blood type held true even after the researchers took into account variables that affect people's risk of heart disease, cholesterol levels, diabetes, hypertension, and so on. So uh, the researchers found a correlation between blood type and heart disease risk, not a cause and effect link. Other research suggested mechanisms that may explain the link, like there may be a link between type A blood and one type of cholesterol, or a link between type AB blood and heightened levels of inflammation. Maybe the CRP is elevated that we talked about before. In this country, the United States, 45% of the people have type O blood, making it the most common blood type. Only 4% of our population has type AB B blood, while about 40% have type A and about 11% have type B. Now, I see this as an important test in combination with cholesterol, high specificity CRP, which I've talked to you about, and an NMR, a nuclear magnetic resonance blood test to look at your lipids or blood fats. And I'm going to mention that in another vlog. Uh, this is Dr. Sam Benjamin with medical news you can use.